Production assistance for Calliope is provided in part by 5D Designs. Val McGinnis voiceovers at listentoval.com and partners in quality children's television programming, Louise and Warren Aldrich. Thank you. I'm so happy. It's my favorite time of the day. It's morning time. Morning time. Sun is rising. Morning time. Good morning, Lucy. Morning time. Morning time. Birds are singing. Morning time. Good morning, early bird. Bok bok. Morning time, morning time. Count your blessings, morning time. Good morning, Giuseppe. Morning time, morning time. Bells are ringing, morning time. Good morning, Penelope. Morning time, morning time. How I love the morning time. Boys and girls, my name is Calliope, and someday I'm going to join my Papa the Ringmaster's traveling circus. Guess what, boys and girls? The Calico Valley Town Fair is coming up, and we here at the caravan are all going to enter it. Maybe one of us will win something. Good morning, Calliope. Isn't it exciting about the Calico Valley Town Fair? It sure is, Early Bird. I was just thinking about all my friends and, and the different kind of things they might enter and who might win. Well, I'm going to be entering a really great thing in the town fair. Really, Early Bird? Well, what are you going to enter? Well, I gave it a lot of thought and I decided to make a statue of a bird. That is a great idea. And I'm going to make that statue out of worms. Ugh, worms? How are you going to make a statue out of worms? It's a secret. It'll be the best bird statue made out of worms at the town fair. <laughs> I'm sure of that. I'm going to go collect enough worms to make that statue, Calliope. See you later. See you later, early bird. I wonder what Penelope wants. Good morning, Penelope. What's this? Good morning, Calliope. I'm making a list of everything everybody is entering in the town fair. But why? 
so I can make sure that what I do is the best of all. I'm going to win that blue ribbon. That's the spirit, Penny. You can't win if you don't try. Right. Did Early Bird tell you what he was going to enter? He said he's entering a statue of a bird made out of worms. Hmm, a statue of a bird made out of worms? Hmm, you know, you know what? I can do that better. You can? How? Hmm, I have to work on that part, but I'm sure I could do that better. Uh-huh. I don't know, Penny. Did Early Bird say how he was going to make his statue? No, he just said it was a secret. A secret, huh? I'll just have to find out how. Okay. <laughs> Boys and girls, this seems like it may turn out to be a very interesting morning. We'll see who else is entering the town fair after these messages. We'll be right back. Boys and girls, Calliope will be right back after these messages. Welcome back, boys and girls. Say, Crumb Snatcher, are you thinking of entering anything in the town fair? Really? You're going to enter a yarn ball? <laughs> What's so special about a yarn ball? Really? It's how big? Crumb Snatcher, where in the world did you get that much yarn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hard to believe, Crumb Snatcher. I didn't know there was that much yarn in Calico Valley. Well, if I come across any yarn, I'll be sure to give it to you. Good luck on your entry in the town fair. Good morning, Giuseppe. Good morning, Fish. Are you excited about the Calico Valley Town Fair? Uh, you know I am, Mon. I've been doing a lot of practicing on my steel drums, getting ready. Really? Oh, yeah, Mon. I'm part of the entertainment. Since there isn't much in the well that I can put together as an entry in the fair, I said I'd be happy to play the steel drums for everyone. Ha, ha, ha. You know, a fish, that'll be just as good as an entry into the contest. I know I'll enjoy listening to you play. Thanks, Mon. Is Calliope going to enter anything into the fair? I don't know, fish. I haven't asked her. I suppose she could do something. Uh, well, if nothing comes to her mind, Mon, she could always sing with me when I play the steel drums. Uh, uh. Fish, that's a great idea. Okay, Mon. Now I'm going to go back to practicing. I'll see you later, Mon. What can I do for you, Penny? Mm, I was just wondering what some of the other entries in the town fair will be. Well, Crumb Snatcher is entering a really big ball of yarn. And Haymon is going to play his steel drums. Mm, a ball of yarn? Mm, I can... I, I, I can do that better. I don't know about the steel drums, though. <laughs> but Penny, that's what Haymon is going to do. And I just might be singing with him. Really? That's a... Uh... Oh, excuse me, Penny. Happy Monkey is here. Sure thing, Calliope. Mm, singing. I can do that better. I want to win everything at the town fair. Good morning, Happy Monkey. Good morning, Calliope. Here's the grocery order for Giuseppe. You must be the only grocery store owner anywhere that still delivers groceries. I don't know about that, but I do know that it's just the way I do business. I like to keep in touch with my best customers. Happy Monkey, are you entering anything in the Calico Valley Town Fair? Of course, I'm entering a big watermelon that I grew in my garden at home. A big watermelon? <laughs> How big is it? It's about, well, it's about, it's pretty big. And that makes me think of... 
a joke, right? <laughs> right. You know me too well. Ready? Here goes. What's the only time you go on red and stop on green? Hmm, I don't know. What is the only time you go on red and stop green? When you're eating a watermelon. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. And as much as I love watermelons, I'll remember that joke next time I eat one. What are you going to be entering at the town fair? I don't know. Paymon has asked me to sing while he plays his steel drums, and I might just do that instead of entering That would be great. Well, I have to make a few more deliveries and get back to the market, so I'll be away. Have a happy day filled with joy. Okay, bye, happy monkey. Boys and girls, it seems like the town fair is going to be great. We'll see who else is going to enter after these messages. We'll be right back. Welcome back, boys and girls. So Penny, since you're keeping up with everything, I just wanted to let you know that Happy Monkey is entering a really big watermelon into the town fair. He is? Oh, where did he get that? He's growing it in his garden. He is? Hmm, a big watermelon. Oh, I, I can do that and do it better. You can? Penelope, how can you grow a big watermelon in time? I mean, the town fair is just a few days away. Hmm, well, maybe I can't do that, but I can grow something very big and enter it. Penny, why do you want to know what everybody else is entering in the fair? Because I want to find out what I have to do to win. Are you going to try to win everything at the fair? I sure am. But Penny... Ah. Mr. McCaw is here with the mail. I'll be back in a few minutes to talk to you. Good morning, Mr. McCall. Top of the morning to you, Calliope. How are things at the caravan today? They couldn't be better. How are you? Just fine, lassie, just fine. My brothers and I enjoyed our vacation in Scotland, but I was also very happy to get back to work delivering the mail. And what did you bring me today? There's a letter for you from the traveling circus today, lass. <gasps> Another letter from Papa. I'm so glad he's finding time to write to me on this circus trip. I do miss hearing from Mama, though. Ah, lass, I'm sure she'll be writing to you, too. Mr. McCall, I wanted to ask you if you were going to be entering anything in the Calico Valley Town Fair. Aye, lass, I sure am. My brothers and I brought back a special kilt from Scotland. The Macaw Tartan, no less. We're going to display it at the fair. Oh, I know that's going to be a winner. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Why, thank you, Calliope. And what might you be entering? I'm not sure. I may just sing along with Haymon's steel drums. Now that would be a special treat. I'm sorry to have to fly off, lass, but there's a lot more mail to deliver. Enjoy your letter from the circus. Ta-ta. Bye, Mr. McCall. Oh, another letter from Papa. I can't wait to read it. Good morning, Giuseppe. What can I do for you? Now I'm going to ask around to see what I should make for the town affair. I was thinking about making a big pizza pie and entering it. What kind of a pizza pie do you think I should make? Oh, Giuseppe, all of your pizza pies are wonderful. But if you're wondering what kind I would like for you to make... See, Calliope, what kind of should I make? I think you should make a bubblegum and lollipop pizza pie. No, mamma mia, I should have known. <laughs> Calliope, you very silly sometimes. Maybe I just to stick with a pepperoni or a sausage. I think that will be a great pizza pie, Giuseppe, and I'm sure you'll be a winner with it. I'm gonna finish you breakfast now. I'll see you in a little while, Calliope. Ciao. Bye, Giuseppe. Cooey. 
Hey, it's Jemima. Good morning, Calliope dear. Good morning, Jemima. How are you? Doing very well, dear, and I hope that you are too. I sure am. What brings you by today? I wanted to ask your opinion on something. I'm thinking of my entry in the town fair and I wanted to know if you thought my collection of souvenirs from my travels would be a good entry. Oh, I think so, Jemima. You've been just about everywhere and you have so many pretty things. Oh, then it's settled. I'll be entering some of the things I've gathered on my travels. What will you be entering? Well, Haymon has asked me to sing with him when he plays the steel drums. Wonderful! I can't wait to hear it. I just have this moment, so I must go now. Thank you for your advice, dear. You're welcome, Jemima. See you soon. Let's go read my letter from Papa. My dearest Calliope, we're stopping in a small town to put on a couple of shows and I wanted to send you a few lines to let you know that your mama and I are thinking about you. We miss you a great deal. At our last stop, there was a town fair that was going on alongside the circus. And on our time off, we all went over to visit. They had a lot of different things to see and do and we had a very good time. But there was one thing that I saw that I wanted to share with you. Every table that had entries for judging had some wonderful things, but there was one person who tried to enter something in every category, and it seemed that they were trying to win all of the awards that the fair was going to hand out. Mama and I talked about this, and we wanted to share it with you so that your friends at the caravan don't try to do something like this when the Calico Valley Town Fair begins soon. Needless to say, the one person who was trying to win everything didn't win anything, and I think he came to understand why. After all, you can't win at everything, and if you try to, you just might lose instead. It's better to do one thing and do it well than try to do a little of everything. Don't you think so, dear? It really was a nice little town fair, Calliope, but not as nice as the one in Calico Valley. We hope you enjoy the fair and that you'll write us soon to tell us all about it. Until we see you in the fall, with love from Mama and me, your Papa. I think I need to talk to Penelope about her trying to win everything. And I'll do that after these messages. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, boys and girls. Hey, Calliope, could you tell me who else is entering the town fair? That's what I want to talk to you about, Penny. I think it's great you want to participate in the fair, but... That's why I wanted to know. Please, Calliope? Well, Giuseppe is making a pizza pie. Mr. McCall is bringing a kilt that he and his brothers got in Scotland. And Jemima is entering a collection of things she has for her travels. But... Is that right? Let me see. I know I can make a good pizza pie. I have a lot of things I can enter, like my zoo animal toys. Gee, I don't know what I could do about the kilt. Wait, yes I do. I can enter that fancy collar I got for my birthday. Yes, I can do all of that better. Hold on a minute, Penny. Just, just hold on. Why are you so determined to win everything at the town fair? Because I just know I can do it. I can know I can do all those things and I can do them better, so I think I should. I can get a big ball of yarn and I can make a big pizza and I can grow a big watermelon and I can sing with Hey Mom and, 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 and I can, I can, I can, uh... But Penny, don't you understand? If you try to do all of that, you won't be able to get any of it ready before the town fair. Uh, I won't? No, and if you try to enter everything and none of it wins, well, how are you going to feel? Oh, uh, gee, uh, I didn't think about that. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, Penny. But what should I enter, Calliope? 
I'm sure you and I can try to think of something. One something. Oh, you're right, Calliope. I think I'd better find one thing to enter. I can't win at everything. <laughs> when Bok Bok cackles like that, it's time for Calliope's thought of the day. Thank you, Bok Bok. And the thought of the day is, you can't win at everything. Calliope, your breakfast is ready. It's breakfast time, but first we must feed our friends because they depend on us. Here you go, Lucy. Penelope, this one's for you. Here you go, Bok Bok. Here you go, Haymon. Oh, won't go away. <laughs> My fresh milk is here. Good morning, Daisy. We were talking about the Calico Valley Town Fair that's coming up. Penelope was going to try to enter everything and win everything. Well, she knows now that she can't win at everything. But what do you mean that the cows wouldn't let her win everything? <laughs> no, I don't think that Penelope could win in the cheese making category. Daisy, you're such a mess. Thank you for my milk and have a great day. Here's your breakfast, Calliope. What's this I hear about me having a competition at a fair? Penelope was going to try to enter and win everything at the fair. She was even going to try to make a pizza pie. Penelope make a pizza pie? And make a yarn ball and sing and a whole lot of other stuff. <gasps> that a puppy sure can a dream a big. It's time to set the table, boys and girls. I like to sing the place setting song when I do this. Won't you sing along with us? Penelope is going to help us. Fork on the left. Fork on the left. Spoon on the right, spoon on the right, plate in the middle, plate in the middle, cup right here, cup right here, napkin in the lap, napkin in the lap, when you set the table right, it makes mealtime a delight. I'm so glad you came to visit me today, boys and girls. And next time you're passing through Calico Valley, stop in again and see me. And don't forget the lesson that we shared. You can't win everything. And remember to always do your best and never, never, ever give up. And I love you. Bye-bye.